Gehenna has finally shown up and I think the highlight of yesterday's episode, there's a lot of different highlights. I think one of the most important characters is definitely Hina showing up. Hina is not student council. Their entire squad is like the prefect team, which is like the discipline committee. They have something to do about wanting to bring Sensei back in order to leverage their deals with the with the peace treaty, with the other schools. Trinity, I think was mentioned. There's some politics going on there. EOD is something sussy about licking our feet. I tried to actually title my video like licking EOD feet or something, but then every time I do that, it would like get limited ads because like lick and foot is like somehow keywords that's banned. So I try to just use toes instead. And then there was that Akko girl, right? She's like some kind of hologram because she was not present, but she seemed also very important. And even her, she bended to Hina because she obviously has total control over prefecting. I'm not really sure. What is up with lollies and their big ass foreheads? And what is up with EOD and the apology letter? I feel like there's gonna be some cunny ass correction scenes then coming with the apology letters. Let's begin today's reaction though. Oh gee son, hiding so much plot from us. That's the thing! That dude was in that post credit episode when I thought it was Kaiser. He was looking at some kind of like iPad and looking at the results of, you know, how Problem Solver 68 was not able to take down the school, right? Oh gee son. The what? What are you? The Horus of Dawn. Why is Oji san so fucking important? You possess the strongest mystic in all of Abydos. What the fuck is a mystic? New mechanics or perhaps it's a mechanic that we've already known but never got introduced to. What the fuck are these halos? What? Or is this a mystic? Cause like, mystic sounds like powers. Everybody has this halo. Strongest mystic, I could totally see something like that. Damn, Oji-san, voice so different. Money. What is the transfer agreement? Who is this dude? The strongest mystic in all of Abydos. Here's a deal that you should take. Horus of Dawn, transfer agreement, transferring to somewhere else? A transfer, what, transfer to a different school? Oji-san leaving us? So that, the, maybe the debt gets cleared if you take this or some shit. That's like a deal that Oji-san could take. Nistic, I'm assuming, is a halo. Transfer agreement, I'm assuming, is, you know, some kind of good thing for Abydos and for her to go somewhere else. Horus of Dawn, and who is this guy? He must be Kaiser related. It has to be. Wake up. Oji san's hiding a lot of things from us, man. Abido's Sand Festival. Today's episode was I Can Only Move Forward. I'm assuming is something to do with, you know, Hoshino. Or Hoshino. Why is it enveloped in desert, though? That's what I want to know. Why sand? Nah, his big boss's shop is in a very bad location. I hope that Problem Solver 68 will use their money to afford a better shop in a more popular bustling district. And those motherfuckers then also then can do the dishes to then, you know, be extra employees. Money! Money! It's our bag! That's fucking stupid, though, that you would leave out this bag of money in front without delivering to a secure position. Like, anyone could grab this fucking bag, but hey, we got it. It all worked out at the end. This is Akko, right? Is this the apology letter? The amount of side titties is fucking crazy, bro. And like, why does she wear a cowbell? Why does she have a cowbell, dude? I mean, she looking like Ganyu from Genshin Impact. Anyway, this is the apology letter? Is that it? Is she getting corrected? Thousands of over and over and over? Damn. I forget what show it was. But there was this like really fucked up way. In it. I'm not sure if it was an anime either. But like this kind of thing happened. Except you had to use your own blood. They wouldn't give you ink. The punishment was use your own fucking blood as ink and keep writing it. Damn, 
What is this angle? Super Erito. Super thighs. Yeah, super cunny. Two years ago, Intelligence Committee identified her as a potential threat to Gehenna. As in, Oji-san would destroy Gehenna school? What are we competing for? Like, Oji-san has been putting up this nonchalant, tired, old man vibes the entire time, but it's just an identity that she's faking so that people aren't gonna realize the truth, right? <laughs> Two years ago, she was way cold! Oh! The Horus of Dawn, strongest mystic! Yo, they're hyping up past Oji-san, bro. Yo, can past Oji-san come back just for a little bit? Intelligence Committee must have decided the Abydos was no longer a threat. I don't understand. Threat to what? Like, take over other people's schools? And the Intelligence Committee here is Gehenna's own Intelligence Committee, right? This is not like the General Student Council, some kind of over, like, global organization that has insight on different schools, right? This is just Gehenna's Intelligence Committee. They were, like, doing scouting on potential strong people and saw Oji-san, powerful, could take over Gehenna. Okay. That's right, 1,000. Apology letters. Ooh! Bro, she flexed. She fucking flexed her wings. Bro, how does what do, you, what do you think happens after this? Like, Hina, like, looks out in the distance in the window. Lighting immaculate. Extends her fucking wings like an erection. Akko's watching it. And then, obviously to us, transition scene. But to her, do you think she's like, um, this is awkward now. And then the wings, like, slowly retract backwards. And then she, like, walks away. And then Akko's like, oh, <laughs> she's being chuny again. <laughs> An evil of day. Fucking Haruka, man. <laughs> Akko-chan works so hard on that. Throw it in the pile of trash that we're gonna burn. Cameraman, Jesus. Are we going back to Gehenna? We're relocating? So we're on the run from the clients, too. <laughs> I mean, you kind of backstabbed us before though, but yeah, it was a good episode last episode. Problem Solver 68, they did team with us, they helped us out. Yeah, and they paid, you know, the money back that we stole and that could go for, you know, uh, Shiba Boss's new ramen shop. That out of face, dude. That's her signature phone. Yeah, she loves that design of the phone. Really, Haruka? Do you even know why? Or do you just simp for out of it? It's got that old style to it, yeah? Okay, where are they going first, though? So cunny. Oh, I just realized the fucking picture. I'm like, they got ready for the pose, right? They got so ready for the pose, but I'm like, where did the camera come from? Haruka had one on the tripod ready <laughs> before that the entire time. <laughs> Good job, Haruka. Nice one, nice one. <laughs> We're getting evicted! <laughs> Couldn't pay rent! <laughs> Where are they gonna fucking sleep, man? In the park? That's not a good thing. Sure you are. Today's episode title is We Keep Moving Forward or something. Y'all should crash Abido's high school. Fuck it, just crash there and just sleep in the rooms. Oh, oh, oh sorry, Suna. Oh. Shiroko. 
なんでここにまさかもう一戦やるつもり ?No, chill. The soundtrack, dude. Why is it so tense? あの先日は Sorry. I never really was mad at Haruka. How could I be? She's so goddamn adorable. She did fuck it up with Shiva Inu's in a ramen shop. But that's beyond. That, that's in the past. She's apologizing. She's been corrected. What's that look? What are we doing right now? These girls need to go work at the new ramen shop. That's what they need to do, bro. Pay their fucking rent by working there. We didn't even say anything. We just said bag. What do you mean bag of money? You just fucking snitched on your Too easy. We took from the bag. <laughs> Cap, you took that shit. Y'all don't even have a fucking office where clients can reach out. What are you talking about? You need a roof. Please just ask if they can sleep over at, you know, Abidos. They're gonna be fucking camping out in the park. Where are you gonna sleep? <laughs> kind of. They're homeless. Or it might be the best timing for them. And if they come back, yo, is Mr. Shiba gonna give him more free, you know, ramen on the house? All right. It's the sunset. <laughs> now they're just gonna walk forever until they get to a park where they can pass out. Oji san. Abido's clinic. Hospital? <gasps> Big boss! But it was an explosion. How the fuck did you survive that? I mean, people don't, I guess, even get injured by guns, so I guess it didn't matter. It's dead! Nah, we can make a new one. No, Mr. Shiba, you, we got a, you got you a big bag of money. See, bro, big boss was struggling to pay rent too, and on top of that, he was willing to extend a helping hand to Problem Solver 68, and they still bombed it. This is even more fucked. Buildings are owned by the high school itself. Oh, this is interesting rules. But it's different, actually. We lost ownership of the building. Kaiser is buying up all the different lands. The reason why we're so insistent on taking back Abido's school is so then they can take up all the lands in the Abido's district itself. That makes a lot more sense. Does this also relate to the beginning shit? With the transfer notice, exactly, yeah. With Oji san, right? Oh, the bank dude, the transfer. What would the transfer done? Transfer of ownership of the building to Kaiser, assuming they're Kaiser Corpse, for a huge sum of money? Maybe that's what Oji san did. <laughs> Kaiser? Probably? Related? This is getting way too real. What the fuck? I I just I thought I was gonna watch a fun, you know, a little anime about cute gotcha girls shooting shit, but it's like we're going to corporations buying up land and making it unaffordable for the local residents. Like this is way too fucking real, dude. This is real life. Let's ask Shidim Chest. We haven't opened up Shidim Chest in a long time. Also, where the fuck is Sensei right now? うん。だって私たちみんなの問題だから。それかった?お、お。まあ、そういや。ちょくらベッドの下にあるもの。Bag of money. Yeah. なんか知ってるか。Yeah, I wonder what that could be. さっきシロコちゃんが持ってきてくれたんだ。焼けちまった店の前に。It's to start up your new shop. どろいたことに大金が詰まってんだよ。Yeah, we stole it. やっぱ。That's right. Donations. Charity. Absolutely. Mr. Shiba! That's so heartwarming. <laughs> kind of fuck that we're lying to Mr. Shiba and him thinking that there's so many people that's heartwarming enough to crowdfund out this much money, but hey, we just shh. I'm very excited for the reopening. What a great boss, man. Oh! 
Oh, said it could smile like this is very, very rare. I swear to God, we haven't seen this since like episode two when she got corrected. OG san again. Yeah, Hoshino. What's Sensei? Oh my God, finally. The entire time, dude, the way that she like turned around and changed her entire like demeanor, the voice acting too, that was, that was like, that was like some Kushida ship. We're gonna nap together? It's been like seven weeks. <笑>でもね、対策委員会のみんな前より生き。みんなが目標に向かって前を向き始めたからじゃないかな。確かにそうかになったし、あやねちゃんは顔を上げてくれる時間が増えた。<笑> I've been calling her Aya say the entire time it's Aya name. 純粋に笑ってくれることが増えた。しろこちゃんは、うん。Robin Banks. I'm just an old man trying to protect their lives, says the lolly. Okay. The soundtrack is so sad though. What the fuck? What about your smile though? Your smile, Hoshino. There it is. There's there's a title drop. There's a title in to protect that I can only move forward from the regrets that she has of transferring ownership of the buildings in Abidos district to Kaiser Corp because of the deal. Why? Must have been a shitload of money that helped us pay our loans and helped us stay afloat, I would imagine, right? <laughs> kinda wanna push her. <laughs> kinda wanna push her when she's doing that. <laughs> I don't know, she's just asking for it. I'm gonna push her to the fucking ground. <laughs> Okay, shoot him chest. Shoot him chest and this is... I forgot her name. Hello, iPad girl. Wait, wait, what was that? She was sleeping? And then her heart. Is this her halo? What is this? She started to make some degenerate noises and it became a heart. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm awake. Her personality is reflected in her halo. It's crying right now, look. Yeah. What the fuck are you gonna do with the Costella? You're in a fucking iPad. You're Yui from Sword Art Online. You can't eat shit. What the fuck are we gonna do? Show up in the fucking iPad with the Costella. We're gonna feed her through the fucking iPad. We're not even in the iPad. This is just what we. In, this is just what we see. Bro has a fucking phone right now, just talking to her right now. What the fuck do you mean, Costella, dude? <laughs> What are you doing here? Is a better question. We should have asked the shit him chest out on that a long, long, long time ago about what Kaiser Corp was. Like, straight up, episode two is when we should have asked. The amount of, like, camera work. Look at this. Holy shit, all the budget went in here. Emotional past. Okay, since he's actually gonna do something and figure it out. There it is, just for the audience, right? She's the excellent system manager and OS of the Shitim Chest. What is a Shitim Chest? I don't know, it's just this OP iPad that just seems to know everything. This is what it actually looks like. <laughs> We're just talking to this little, little iPad thing instead of being in the water. Wonder what the theme is though. Like, why is she like stuck in this iPad that's like, it's like a busted up elementary school with like water everywhere, oceans, while we are just, like covered in sand? I don't know. Why is she stuck in here? Who designed her? Is she a product of Kaiser Corp? No, she's a product of the General Student Council, right? Yeah. She. Sensei was entrusted to shit him chest from the peoples of the General Student Council, I think, before the president disappeared or something? Or was it after? I forget. Important shit though. that lighting. And financially. Transfer of ownership. 
all buildings, including Shibasaki Ramen. So, like, every building in Abido's high school district. Like, sorry, sorry. sorry. It's like, so, so, we have the district Abido's, but we have a high school, so it's a college. But every building in it is owned by Kaiser. So I thought it was just like one separate building that we sold off, which belonged to Sh Mr. Shiba's, you know, fucking thing. Every building has been bought up. Damn. And Hoshino allowed it to happen. Why? That's got... Because, like, you know Oji-san would, wouldn't do something like this, right? She would never. But she must have been forced to make a decision because something else worse could have happened if not we, if we didn't do this. Also, this kind of explains a little bit more on why they want to take over the school. Even though we have so much debt to pay, I'm like, why the fuck are the debt collectors intentionally hiring mercenaries to take the school out and have ownership of the school? Well, shit, if the school is the, you know, well, this is also the last piece of the land I guess they're missing. But it's just like, if, if, it's interesting to know that the, the school district, the schools kind of have ownership of all the buildings in the district. Oji-san knows. Oji-san knows, ask Hoshino. That's right. Say something, Oji-san. Oh, this is gonna hurt, bro. And like, not only are we realizing that we've been betrayed a long, long time ago, but like, they still don't know the last missing piece. And it's that Oji-san is part of that. So even one of our members, quote unquote, like, betrayed us. Like, ooh. This is gonna be messy. There is more going on here. There is. Maybe she can't get sleep because she feels so fucking guilty and this eats her up inside. So every time Oji-san says, oh, I'm so tired, I'm going to go away and nap. It's her distracting herself from the problem at hand and removing herself so that she doesn't have to explain and that she can cope with the cognitive dissonance that she has. And she keeps telling herself to move forward. Mm. What's Nonomi realizing here? I feel like that's just kind of avoiding the problem we're ending the episode by pumping up, you know, happy music and having Oji-san distract everyone from the source of the problem rather than confront it, but it is what it is. <laughs> Serika's right! Serika's right! Alright, next episode, Aquarium Dates? Yeah, I mean, you're right, but you have the fucking answers, but she can't obviously just tell him, but oh my god. Alright, aquarium dates next episode. Some hands to him, bro. She looking like Kazuma. Alright, it is a whale. It does look like a whale. Post credit scene. Okay, sunset lighting. Chiroko shower. The post credit scene is just fan service. That's it. Shiroko toes. Little fish. Someone broke in. Who's attacking us? Who could it be, guys? Oh no. Oji san? General Student Council President! Do we need it just took our snack and left? Hello. It was just crows? It, 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 it was just crows? Nothing else? I thought someone broke in, but crows just showed up and just stole it. Alright. <laughs> Still shoot it! That's it? What was this? This is the thing in the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw this in a couple in like the first couple episodes, right? When we were seeing a little bit about Shiroko's background, it was this thing, right? This thing? Some kind of balancing thing. It's basically like Shiroko riding a bike. And that's the thing that got destroyed. Huh. So someone must have given that to her and it got destroyed. This is symbolism meaning something bad is going to happen. I don't know. What is the meaning of it? Uh... Something bad's going to happen. Probably related to Shiroko. What does that mean, guys? And that's today's episode. Today's episode was not as obviously exciting as the previous episodes because obviously this is like a little bit of a, you know, wrapping up the arc and starting a new arc and introducing a lot of things. So today was a lot of cooking episode, right? 
So basically, the most important thing, I guess, is this scene in the beginning. Some dude from Kaiser Corp is talking to Hoshino, and Hoshino is known as the what? The Horus of Dawn. One second, what does Horus even mean? Horus in ancient Egyptian religion, a god in the form of a falcon whose right eye was the sun or morning star, representing power quintessences, and whose left eye was the moon or evening star, representing healing. Now this might sound random as fuck, but I don't think it's too random because Hoshino does have two separate eye colors, right? So Horus of Dawn. Hmm, Dawn for who? Dawn, it, it sounds like... Horus of Dawn, Dawn sounds like a good thing, but it sounds like the Dawn for Kaiser and kind of bad things for us. There is this transfer of ownership, right? Ownership, you know, I, I googled this. Don't think that I just brought up. What do you think I was doing reading over here in this direction? You think that I actually had Horus fucking memorized? You're insane. I googled it and fucking read off screen. But basically, there was a transfer of ownership, right? The transfer of ownership was the buildings in Abydos district towards Kaiser Corp. But it was such a good deal, meaning something worse could have happened if we didn't take this deal. So Hoshino was put in this really shitty position where she had to accept the shitty deal of transferring building ownership to Kaiser Corp and the corporations just keep fucking winning, bro. Some of the other stuff, I guess, is with Gehenna about how Hina a long time ago saw Hoshino as a threat from the, by scouting from the intelligence committee. One day she could take over, you know, Gehenna, but it, that's not the case anymore because she's obviously changed a lot. We learned about what the apology letter is. It's essentially just writing this fucking letter over and over and over thousands of copies. Yeah, Problem Solver 68 is basically a homeless 68 now. They got evicted, they gave the money away. Good on them, but kind of sad. They don't have a place to sleep in. I think that they should, you know, come over to our school and sleep, but it is what it is. Mr. Shiba is going to restart his ramen shop with the money that we stole. It's clean money, guys. It's definitely donated. And then Hoshino here being sussy as all hell, never telling us what's on her mind, but her, I guess, persona? The way that she's always just like, oh, I'm so tired and, you know, being aloof and being away from things. It kind of makes sense with today's episode, right? She's basically distracting herself. She has a lot of cognitive dissonance. She feels very guilty. She tells herself that she can only move forward. But in that scene, in this room, where we're talking about all the revelation of, oh my god, we've been betrayed this entire time. Kaiser Corp, the problem solver 68, every one of them, they were working behind the scenes to fuck us. And they still don't know the last piece. And Hoshino, you know is that last piece. I wonder how we're gonna feel about this when we realize that Hoshino or, or Oji-san has been kind of like quote-unquote betraying us even though she had no other hands to play. And next episode is gonna be like an aquarium date episode. Now, this final scene in the post credit scene. The... some kind of pendulum? I don't know, some kind of balancing thing? There's this like this fox that's like riding this bike ride or a wolf. That's what, you know, Shiroko is. The crows, you know, attack our place and take our snacks, but while doing so, that thing falls down and Shiroko is broken. Which hints, and it's sunlight, sunlight, sun, sun, like, like sunset lighting. Which means that something sad or bad's gonna happen to us. Shiroko specifically? I don't really know, but that's for us to find out next week. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists with more content. And until next time, take care.